Hey guys, Jason Maxwell here from J Max Fitness, and in this video, I'm going to show you what I eat in a full day on a workout day. Now, one thing you should know is right now I'm in maintenance mode. So it's the summer, I've already lost the weight that I wanted to do. I'm at my desired leanness. So now I'm just enjoying the summer. So what I like to do, my strategy for maintenance is I'll just have a fat loss calories. So I like to stay between 180 and 185 pounds in the summer. That's a good leanness for me. That's That way I can enjoy a lot of food and stay at that leanness and really enjoy life, but also have the balance of enjoying the way I look as well. It's a perfect balance for me. Um, so what I like to do is I like to eat um, around 1800 calories per day um, and get around 180 to 185 grams of protein per day, um, or actually between 160 and 180 grams of protein per day. The reason is because the absolute minimum amount of protein you wanna have is 0 0.82 grams of protein um, per pound of body weight. Um, so I set the goal at around 1800, and then I give myself um, an air of like 10 to maybe 15%. Um, and then that way I'm still under my maintenance calories and I'm still able to maintain. So you'll see in this eating day, um, I'll have to give you the final tally at the end of the video. But what I do is it's completely unscripted. I have no idea what I'm going to eat that day, but I just use flexible dieting to, to go about my day. Uh, it's just a regular day for me where I go to the gym, but I use the flexible dieting to be able to eat what I want. And you know, there's a few curveballs thrown in there too. So you, you get to see it all. It's really behind the scenes. I'm, really happy with the way it worked out because I had no idea any of this was going to happen, any of these curveballs, and I got through it, and I'm actually very happy with what I ended up eating yesterday. It was very satisfying and fulfilling, but I also was within that, you know, 10 to 15% air range, and I got a good amount of protein too, so I'm really happy. So if you guys can see that right now. So I just rolled out of bed. It's 8.16. Um, and I don't, I don't eat breakfast, um, but I do have something every morning, which I think is very important, and it is this. What I have is a big glass of water, and I just keep drinking water all morning. Like maybe I should have filled up the Brita filter, but yeah, I'm gonna have a full glass of this, and then just throughout the morning while I'm working, I'm gonna have just more and more water. thing is with the water it's it just I find it helps me fill up a bit because I do wake up a bit hungry but then it just helps me wake up because I don't even drink coffee and that water is all I'll have until like I don't know one o'clock maybe today so it's a good uh, five hours of just having just water and then just working so hopefully in the next video you'll see me and I I'll be uh, a little bit more dolled up for you so I don't look so I just rolled out of bed and I just woke up like this look so today is pre-workout so before all my workouts I always have um, half a cup of oats and I put some butter in there for the fat and then I do about 40 grams of protein so this is the protein powder I'm using now um, I look forward to this meal every day that I work out it is so good it's part of something I use in um, my formula, I call it the muscle cocktail. And essentially, it's a three-part series that helps you build a lot of muscle. Um, the first part is what you eat before the workout, which is um, about 30 grams of carbs, uh, about 10 grams of fat, um, which I get from the butter, and then about 40 grams of protein, which you get from mm. the actual protein powder. Um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to have a lot more energy during your workout so you can get in those extra reps and get you through that grinding workout. Um, definitely try this, it's really cool. And there is like the final product. Obviously I stir in the, the protein powder. It 
actually just looks pretty shitty on video, but it tastes amazing. I look forward to eating this every day. It's one of my favorite things I eat actually. Just protein powder, oats, and a bit of butter. Um, what works really well too is instead of butter is coconut oil. So good. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat this right now and then I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be drinking during the workout. It's really cool. During the workout though, I drink a mixture of this custom blend that I made, which is highly branched cyclic dextrin and hydrolyzed whey protein. And then two scoops of that and then a scoop of creatine on top. Mix that with water, drink that during your workout. What that helps you do is it helps you get the amino acids into your muscles um, and helps you build muscle during your workout. And it also gives you a lot of energy. So something very cool um, that you can start doing during your own workouts if you want to build muscle. So it's about 1 p.m. now, heading to the gym. I had that oatmeal, um, I guess about 20 minutes ago, so it's starting to kick in a bit right now, right by the time I started lifting. Um, and then that, uh, that mix that I made, the custom mix, I'm gonna drink that during the workout. Um, so that should help me, you know, with some energy and get the, the nutrients to my bloodstream. Today is a sweet workout. It's a upper body, one of my favorites. I've been prioritizing my upper body lately because my legs, I've noticed, are just a bit too big for the rest of my body. So I'm um, doing my upper body three times per week, per week and then my, my legs one day per week. And then I do um, Muay Thai practice one day per week. And that's more just for fun cardio, really. And then um, I go swimming pretty much every day because it's so awesome here. I'll take you to the water so you can see. I basically swim in my neighborhood pretty much just every day. It's just down the street. Um, pretty convenient because then I, you know, I'll just go snorkeling and that's part of my cardio. And it's just fun. It's a fun activity to do. So every day, right before my workout, I'll come and I'll sit down on this bench right here and just, you know, get a little bit of sun and check out the water. Um, when I do go swimming, I just go swimming down there and just snorkeling around. Uh, it's just a really cool atmosphere to go do it at, especially in front of this really cool church. And then the gym I go to is actually just in that building right there. So I'll just go across the street, have my workout and sip on my, uh, my workout fuel drink, those two scoops with the, the creatine and that gets me through it. So after I drink that uh, workout shake, it'll be, those will be the only two things I've eaten today. Um, the oatmeal and the workout shake, and that'll be just over 700 calories, uh, which leaves me with just over 1,100 calories for the rest of the day um, to eat whatever I want. Some flexible dieting, so I'm just trying to make sure that I get in enough protein and that I'm not over my, my calories for the day. Um, so you're seeing this in real time. I'm just going to shoot the shit and eat whatever I feel like eating. Just eat stuff that's going to make me satisfied, but also eat put some good things into my body, like some good meats, uh, try to get my vegetables in. And you'll even see everything all the way down to what supplements I take, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna eat next, but I'm gonna go jump into the gym right here. And then, and who knows? You'll find out in just a second. So next up, it's about just after 3.30. And it's a weird one for you, some trout. Uh, from last, left over from last night's dinner, about 190 grams, 180 grams. Um, ketchup. I put ketchup on my fish. I don't know why I just do it. It tastes really good. And then finish it off with a couple slices of watermelon. So after this meal, I still have like 700 calories left in the day. And this will get me through until dinner time. One thing I always tell people is, you know, with every meal, try to get like a fruit or a vegetable. So myself, I don't eat, like eating a lot of vegetables, but I'll always have them around dinner time. But during the day, I always like to have some kind of fruit. Um, the watermelons in Malta where I live are like the best watermelons you'll ever have in your life. I can't explain how good it is. They're just so delicious. So um, I get to have one of my favorite fish, trout, and then watermelon too. So. I'm pretty excited for this one. So we're here at my favorite place, Kebab G, and we're getting a um, big plate of shawarma. Obviously I'm not going to eat all this, I'm going to share some with Cassie, and 
It's gonna be amazing, and then Cassie's gonna take some for her lunch tomorrow. But that'll probably be about six or seven hundred calories, and that'll put me at basically at my calories for the day. Um, and we're gonna feast in lots of veggies under here, lots of chicken. It's gonna be good. Oh, does that ever look so amazing? I cannot wait to eat it. What about you, Cassie? All right. So what I love to do is I love to take the, the hummus, put it in. And then you just stuff it with some of this good stuff, spicy, the garlic, and then the tahini. And you put all this coleslaw, beets, and chicken in. Took a look at that. And boom, there you have it. So what I just showed you is exactly what flexible dieting actually is. Um, Cassie called me up and she was like, hey, you wanna go swimming and meet me after work? So I was like, yeah. So we went to the water, we went swimming, and we had a great time. And then we, she was like, you know what? Let's go get some Lebanese food. So we went to my favorite place, Kebabji, and I was able to fit it into my macros, have this amazing meal with like some great meats and vegetables, and you know, who doesn't love shawarma? Um, the best part is when you're when you're flexible dieting, you can have that flexibility to just be kind of be prepared to be unprepared. So essentially you can go in, eat what you want, enjoy it, and it'll still help you lose weight and have this amazing body transformation. It's really simple. Um, so later in the video, I'll talk to you about like my final tally for my macros for the day, and I'll tell you how well I think I did hitting my own macros. Um, but the real takeaway here is sometimes you're gonna hit your macros perfectly, sometimes you're gonna be within 5%, that's totally fine. The whole point is that you're really enjoying your life and eating the foods you love and still building the body that you want. And that's the whole point of it. So we were on the way home and we just found like this little Russian food store right here. So we decided to get a couple chocolates. So I'm definitely gonna eat half of these. I'll probably take a bite and then she takes a bite and that's it. But yeah, another something, just a little treat. Get some little sweetness in. Probably another maybe 200 calories. That's fine. It's all about enjoying it and not going to hold in that. All right, so end of the day. You got my uh, pre-bed cocktail, all these nice little pills right here. So first up, multivitamin, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, and then half a melatonin pill. Essentially, I just like to take all my pills at once, and I like to take a bit of melatonin before I go to bed as well as magnesium, because it helps me sleep a lot. So just take these bad boys right here, down the hatch. When you do fitness, you get really good at taking lots of pills at once. So that's my full day of eating on a workout day. Again, I'm in maintenance mode. So the final tallies are, I had about 2,100 calories and 160 grams of protein. Um, so that was exactly the minimum protein I wanted to hit. And I was within that you know, 10 to 15% air on my actual calories. If I was actually dieting down hard, I would only want to be within a 5% air and I would want to be um, getting at least 180 grams of protein. But because I'm in maintenance mode and it's the summer and I'm enjoying life, this is the way I work it into my macros and I still stay in the weight range that I, that I want to be in. I maintain it and I get to eat the foods I love and I get to, you know, get past all those curveballs. Like I had no idea I was going to be going out to eat after going swimming. I didn't even know I was gonna be going swimming that day. It just all happened so fast. And I was still able to do that and enjoy it instead of being the loser and just sitting on the side and not ordering anything. So you definitely learn a lot from this. Um, maybe once I go back into more of a, a hardcore fat loss stage or a hardcore muscle building stage, I'll do some more videos on that because I do eat a lot differently. Muscle building, is you know just a lot of fun. You get to eat a ton, and you're still within your macros. Fat loss is the more tough. It's fat loss is tougher.
because you have to be more strict. Um, so I'll definitely have to show you that as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you s click subscribe and subscribe to my channel. And I also put together a uh, free video teaching you my favorite muscle building exercises. And it's for every single body part. So make sure you check that out by clicking up in the top right hand corner. That'll pop up right now. And that's it. Make sure you go check out the top, my top muscle building exercises. And I'm Jason Maxwell and I'll see you next time.